Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna big, big, big guest here, a big and old guest. Bam! Y'all know what it is, guys? This is the very first generation iPad, yo, with the no cameras, with this very, very heavy screen. And you can see here, 5.1.1, the latest version, but this is the 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi seller, which if I can't remember, is actually the most expensive configuration that you can get this first generation iPad is. And it's very heavy too, guys. It's very, very heavy. So in this video, we're just gonna do something uh, quick and easy here. Uh, this iPad is fully restored. Well, someone restored it. We're gonna try to j uh, find out on how to jailbreak iOS 5. And it is for both Mac OS and Windows. All right, so without any further ado, Let's go to the video, shall we? Alright guys, so here we are on macOS Sonoma here, 14.3.1, uh, Apple Silicon Mac. And we're gonna try to first do this on the Mac. I'm gonna go open up your web browser and install Homebrew here. Just go to the website, brew.sh. You guys gonna click here, alright? Make sure that's copied to the clipboard. And then just open up Terminal, alright? And then hit on Command V, hit Enter. It will install all the homebrew necessities. It will install command line tools from Xcode. It will take maybe 10, 20 minutes depending on the internet connection, all right? And once a uh, homebrew is installed, we're gonna go ahead and go to the link that I will link in the description down below, which is Legacy iOS Kit by Luke ZGD. So thank you, Luke ZGD for the Legacy iOS Kit tools. And the Legacy iOS Kit was uh, its iOS OTA downgrader. Is it's the new name of iOS OTA downgrader, which I think we use back in the iOS 10.3.3 iPad Mini 2 downgrade, which I will link on top of the video right there. This is the new name, Legacy iOS Kit. We're gonna use this tool as well to jailbreak our iPad on iOS 5, right? So make sure here, go to this tab right here. It releases latest. Then scroll down here and click on the macOS version here and just hit download that straight away. So once you extract the zip file of the legacy iOS kit, it will come up in this folder here. Now we're gonna go and open up our terminal again here and make sure to click this tag here. It's called restore.sh. Drag it to your terminal window here and hit on enter. All right, it will load up everything. Now it will pop up like this, but you can cancel. We're gonna go to the system settings here and oh, here it is. See, Apple. You need to tell me what it is if you change stuff, all right? So let's go ahead and quit the settings again. And it on terminal. Drag this restore to SH, hit enter. Okay, now this is the setting that we want, right? It shows the open text. Open, all right, hit on enter to install all the things. Enter your Mac password here. All right, installing a command line tool is already installed. Rosetta 2 is already installed. Now all we have to do is plug in our iPad to the Mac. Let's go ahead and drag the restore the SH again. It's your terminal here, and there we go. Find the device in normal mode, and there we go. Now we got the, all these options here. Now we're gonna click on, now we're gonna type on number two because we're gonna jailbreak the device here. Number two is fine, like I see there. Hit enter, your device blah, 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 which you're going to be using Gilbert GB. No data will be lost and hit on enter. There we go. The jailbreak is running, ladies and gentlemen. Now just wait for the jailbreak to run. All right, it's restarted. Let's open up Mr. Cydia once again. And there we go. Cydia is loading up in 2024. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And now, let me show you guys on how to do it on the Windows version, all right? Oh my, so I was trying to show you guys how to jailbreak this iPad first generation iOS 5 using this tool. And then Cydia shows up. And then when I try to prepare the file system, this is the only app that shows now. So yeah, my I literally lose all my apps. If I search for it, Mike, it's it's gone. So don't use this app. If you guys on Windows 10 or Windows 11, use a VM and I will show you guys on the next step on how to do it. Otherwise, yeah, this is what happened, man.
All right, here we are arrive at our lovely, lovely Windows 7 system. All right, now for Windows 7, we're gonna install iTunes version 11.0. My, we have no idea really iTunes 11.0, but iTunes 11 in general, I have mine 11.0. All right, now open up your web browser and go to the link that we'll link in the description down below, which is the r slash legacy jailbreak subreddit big mega archive. So they have all the archive tools and downgrade exports and jailbreak here on this single mega mega link. We'll go ahead and click on the jailbreak folder here and click on the Epstein jailbreak. Of course, the good old Epstein jailbreak. All right, click on the Windows folder and download the latest one 2.0.4. Right click and click on standard downloads and wait for that building. Ah uh, yes, welcome to your new iPad. Look at that old iPad third generation right there running iOS 6 and those beautiful iTunes 11 user interface. Alright, now once you extract your Appstein folder here, then we're gonna open up the Appstein application itself. It will extract the applications here. Just wait for a couple of maybe seconds. Alright, open up the extracted folder there and then just click on the Appstein application. Hit yes on any UAC and then just plug in your iPad to the computer. All right, and then you can see there up there iPad when I swap one one showed up and then hit that big old jailbreak button And there we go guys the city app on your home screen there just go ahead and tap it let the app load City app is now loading all you have to do here just go ahead and go to uh, changes here Refresh, let it refresh everything you put through. Some of the server stuff were kind of broken at the moment. Um, of course, after this, you guys can install uh, IPAs, you guys can fix the YouTube ad. If you guys want to a tutorial from that, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll probably do the YouTube one uh, again real soon because uh, I found some other workarounds for YouTube for these older iOS again with the original YouTube app right not the not the YouTube app application or the app store all right guys there you go that's how you jailbreak your iOS 5 for our iPad first generation of course you can jailbreak our iOS 5 devices like the third generation iPod touch or maybe you have uh, iOS 5 iPhones or iPads you can do this to jailbreak your iOS 5 in 2024 all right guys so thank you guys for watching this video I'm gonna work out with this heavy iPad, you know, man. Make some muscles, you know. And I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Peace. That's heavy boy.